I looked I looked at the freaking thing. Odie just looks so fucking cute right now that I was just like I was taken aback because I swatched swapped scenes. Yeah, anyways. Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, this we is back. more more FF9. Uh, I think episode 25. Um, and yeah, we're, we're jumping back in. <laughs> more exploration of fossil rules. Rue. So this guy has a shop. We're going upstairs. Oh, I got chips. Hmm. Ow! I hit my dust. So, These enemies levels should be divisible by four, I believe, since they have it. So you think so? I don't think it is, but oh, you oh, you mean you you think it should be? They have level four holy, so they I feel like you know you get it from them and then you can turn around and cast it on them. Maybe maybe. So I was I was um, when we took our break, get some snacks. I ate some hummus. Uh -huh. And I also ate some pickled okra. I I love pickled okra. I, I absolutely wow. love pickled okra. Right? Um, and then I was sitting there while I was eating it. I was like, hmm, you know, I wonder. Like, I, I did. Uh, I've been trying to eat a more balanced diet in the last, like, year, year and a half, right? Um, uh -huh. So I, I am more conscientious. I'm not like picky about things but i just you know try to you know have more knowledge and be like look look at the dietary information on things etc etc shit i've got trouble yeah i think like a couple of us have trouble but I um so i was sitting here thinking like trouble, trouble oh what's uh what does you know i i bet or i had this memory right where i was like i don't think Pickled things have very much nutrition, right? I mean, you know? it's just I was like, the thing in vinegar, right? So like, but I was like, ah, but you know, it's still the thing, right? It's still like okra. Okra is very high in like fiber, right? I was like, I'm curious as to to what this is gonna do, or 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 what the dietary information is, right? So I checked it and I was like, it's zero dietary fiber. It's like zero everything except for sodium. So I'm sitting here so thinking it's... about it, and I'm like, does the does the pickling process like just neutralize? Surely, surely that doesn't make sense, right? If I if I eat five pieces of okra, right, like that's high fiber. Normally, the pickling process can't like completely get rid of that, can it? I I don't know. I'm there. I don't know. So these these are the questions that keep me up at night. Anyways, uh, we're gonna hit switch number four. Um, and then there's a gargantuan. Sorry, that was a random tangent, but like it really fucked with me. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Me on the other hand. I don't I don't pay attention to any information. It's just that just seems like too much work. Like I don't I don't even put a, any effort into what I eat in the day. Like by the time a meal rolls around, if Rachel's not cooking, I just grab something. I don't even care. Yeah. Mm. Let me just... Interesting, interesting. What was that peach? Confusion, maybe? Charm? You're headed and oh, it, does have, it does teach confuse. Nice. All right. Sounds like a plan. Uh, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm. So here's the thing. I'm not like, I'm not particular about the things. Like, I don't, I don't do a lot with the information that I have. Right. You're just aware. Of I'm it. just more aware, basically. Yeah. Like, generally speaking, I, I have a 
I have a basic understanding of like what is a good thing to put in my body and what isn't. So, you know, I just try to not put crap. At, or I say crap, not as much crap, you know, in my body. But you assume a serving of pickled okra just doesn't have enough fiber to report. Maybe. Maybe. I assume that's what, like, you know, that's what zeros are in general, right? It's not that there's nothing yeah. there, it's just that... My fat-free stuff is never actually fat-free. Sure. If you right. eat enough of it, you will acquire fats. Like, there's no such thing as fat-free butter. That just seems antithetical. Well, it's it's just that as long as you're under a certain threshold, you can make the claim that it's zero fat. So that's the thing I think that is uh, getting me, Maokai, right? Is, is, is what about the pickling process normalizes the the efficiency or the the amount of fiber i guess i guess it's just actually like pickling is literally breaking down the fiber you know in the the okra right because normally okra is a very fibrous substance right like fresh okra is supposed to be pretty high in fiber i think um it just it just i was like what it counts as no, none. Pickling is adding so much sodium to it that you should only eat a small amount of it. That's fair. Yeah, the serving sizes are like, I don't know, like two pieces or something like that. So, yep. wrong thing. Not gonna do that. I'm gonna do Akira. Hell yeah. Back we go. You know, as an adult, I should probably try more pickled things, right? Um, because I I love all of the pickled things that I do eat, like pickles or pickled okra or, you know, like olives or things like that any any of the you know brined in vinegar solutions type things that i do eat i really enjoy but there are a lot of things that i've like made up my mind about as a kid where i was like i'm not gonna eat that like pickled eggs i'm like no i'm not gonna eat that but i like pickled things and i like eggs i probably would like that if i gave it a try but it just seems disgusting to me i don't know you know so, I don't know. Give it a shot. I'm just musing. Sorry. Vinegar. I'm I'm sick. Put an egg in it. Don't listen to me right now. I'm I'm off my rocker. Okay. We're going back. What's the controller doing? Forty percent. <laughs> You'll be glad to know, Maokai, that I am at the, uh, the, the, I'm saved right outside the point of no return in, uh, Lost Odyssey, like, the final dungeon. Probably gonna end up finishing it tomorrow. It's been a really cool game. Like, it's very, very unique mechanics and story. Like, really glad to have, uh, played through it. Yeah, well, I was off last week. I made it all the way to disc four. You uh, and uh, Mitch. During the weekend. But this entire week, I was at work, and I it took all week to get through disc four. Like, I, I swear, you and Mitch just, like, carve through games. Again, I was off of work last week. It's not hard when you're, you know, that's just what you're doing in a day. Yes. I suppose. All right, we took a wrong turn. I apologize. I know you'll never forgive me. Never. But yeah, uh, like it's funny. Maokai mentioned playing that like, God, it had been like a decade ago, right? And if not longer, and 
I've only just now gotten around to playing it, and it's good. Highly recommended. It's going to be really hard to play for... I guess emulation makes it a little bit easier to play, but before that, you just had to have a physical 360 with the game on it. This goes to show, emulation is absolutely necessary for gaming preservation. It is a mandatory tool. And you suck. It literally says, don't worry if you fall in the water. Well, I am uh, just a bunch of nerves right now. Uh, One place. Jansen, he's still, he's still, he's still a character. Like, and I think, I think Ming has, uh, some questionable preferences. Sounds like I wrong. Say, I, I think that, that, oh, out of, like, all the, the, the vocal work, the voice actor for Jansen seems so like like genuine when he speaks. Like the way Jansen will like stutter and and like just talk in general seems just so like not from an RPG. It seems like just a dude. I don't know. Seems I don't know like what it real. Is. Yeah, it, it like it's like if a, a normal person was stuck in a fantasy game. Wow. Uh, he's also uh, got the ability to steal and also is very bad at it, like, <laughs> like Zidane. Yeah. But it was necessary because uh, there was a lot of like rings that I needed to uh, steal stuff for. There's a really cool, there's a really good uh, ring that alters your time hits. It's like attack plus three, crit plus three, and HP absorb. So that anytime you get your time hit, it's it's a lot of damage, has a high chance of crit, and you absorb the HP from it. Damn. What? That's the same voice actor as Knuckles? No. No way. No fucking way. <laughs> you got fucking excited on that one, man. Well, I, at first I thought I thought that meant it was Travis, because Travis Willingham has done the voice for Knuckles recently, but he doesn't go as far back as uh, Adventure. Gotcha. I, I can't remember who it was in Adventure. But... Uh, Yep, yep, yep. Really? Oh. That that seems crazy. Hold on. Hold on. some more MP so you have more stuff to play with. I fucking love this music. Like, gone. Yep. Yep, yep. I, I was just watching a YouTube video of some uh, scenes from Sonic Adventure. I'll love a minute. Oh, it, it's the level of detail they went into rendering means boobies is crazy. Oh, oh, I gotta play wow. the game. Yeah, I will, so... Yeah, like... Jay just they suddenly mean, went like, uh... So, like, like they have Ming, but there's also uh, another character, Sarah, who's very modestly dressed. Just, yeah. a, like, a very modest, long-sleeve dress. 
no cleavage. And then you have Ming over here that's in this, like... I don't even know how to explain it. it it's like she has two whale tails in her bottom her bottom piece it's like it's like it's like there's a, a like it's like a bikini bottom but then another bikini bottom comes out of the bottom of that what <laughs> okay how come i know like all right then also uh j just you know because you know hot hot rpg women or whatever she's she's a queen right and the mark that she's a queen is there's this uh birthmark that glows but of course it's got to be on her chest right is that oh you want to see that i'm a queen see my titties of course okay oh. Oh. ain't got no class i mean Ooh, for a potion. That reminds me, I was actually, uh, I've been Googling a bunch of stuff because I've been just trying to pick up a bunch of stuff before I go into the final dungeon. I was like, all right, uh, where's everybody's like best weapons or whatever? And um, apparently without using the skills that let me, uh, with, that lets other users use other people's weapons, the best wands for Sarah and Ming are uh, just bought at uh, a village. And the, 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 like the game FAQ's thread I was reading about it, the guy's like, yeah, I, I, Ming's best weapon is in this village. And I guess Sarah can use it too, but I just didn't bother because, you know, because Ming's got really good boobies. I'm like, <laughs> who wrote this? Wow. Who wrote this? Sure. Ming and Sarah, rune pick. Buy at the shop in the Kelolon village, 32,000 gold each. I don't know if it lets you buy two. I only bought one for Ming because she has nice boobies. Wow, Jay, you just like, you just full called this dude out. Yeah, uh, oh no, not full called out. It's about to be full called. Uh, Red my n zero zero two five on the game FAQs message board posted thirteen years ago. Sixteen years ago. Thirteen. Thirteen years ago. 13. This is not significantly better. Dear Lord, I like he was going over how to get Sed's best gun in the game, and he's like, "You gotta find Sed's lost homies." This homie is underwater. This homie is easy. Like he's calling him. I'm like. Did Brad write this? Because of the word homies? The, the over abuse of homies. Yeah, you you really you really fucked me on that one, Maokai. Like the because the voice actor for uh the children is apparently Phil and Lil from Rugrats, and I can't unhear that now. Wow. Yeah, Cook. The the main character's granddaughter is uh, Phil and Lil from Rugrats. Awful. That's an interesting cast of characters, though. Like, you've got Knuckles and Phil and Lil. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just hanging out, having a conversation with you. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, I don't know. I got to figure out what I'm doing uh, for uh, Monday and Tuesday, though. The two days before Monster Hunter Rise come out. I won't actually be able to play uh, on Wednesday since we have D&D, &D, but Thursday... And a few hours on Friday, I'm going to be going in. All right, so there's a very, very rare chance of getting a ring from this thing. Um, and that's what I was doing. I was just speeding through to see if maybe we could very get Very rare? Very rare. Like Extremely less than 1%? I don't, I don't know about that, but... 
what kind of ring? A Madane's ring or Maiden's ring? I'm unclear on the specific terminology there. Interesting. But it has a... Uh, it's pretty easy and it absorbs ice. But again, not something that we... Apparently, there's an achievement for getting it, but we're not doing that, so... I've had enough. Alright. We want to exit to the southeast. Not one of them. Right. Whatever will we do? Incoming, you getting silenced. Nah, I never one shot it. <laughs> well, I guess I didn't one shot it. Someone, uh, yeah. it up for me. You didn't one shot it. No. I, I don't know why I... every time you talk about Lost Odyssey for the last, like, little while, it's made me want to play, um... Shit. What's it called? Well, never mind. Apparently, I don't want to play it that much. Fuck! <laughs> mm. Oh, we already had a survival vest on. Okay, whatever. I want to go back to the room with the IV. Shit, what is that? Um, it's a square game. Uh-huh. It's, uh, has a super dumb, goofy main character. But that um, does not narrow it down. Not, not, not as much as it should, no. Um, it's got really unique battles. You command armies, but they're in squadrons. I know you know this game. Um... Uh, over battle? Like, no. I don't know. I was gonna say, that doesn't have a goofy main character. Um, it's like, it's like, it's got X Last Remnant, that's what it is. Thank you, my oh, guy. Yeah. I really want to like that game every time I play it, and every time I play it, I get like halfway through it, and I'm like, I'm just done. didn't even get halfway. Now. I bought that for like $3 on a Steam sale. I played it for a little bit, I'm like, nah. I honestly, like, I would like the game a lot more if I didn't hate the main character. Legitimately. I, I love the way that the game plays. Obtuse for the sake of being obtuse? Absolutely, yeah. A saga game and everything but name? Yeah. Yeah, Pretty I'm much. not a fan of saga games either. That's another thing where I'm like, I I really want to like them, and I really think I should like them. Every time I play them, I'm like, this is fun? Question mark? And then I'm like, ultimately, I just end up quitting. That's just the way it is. Like, I remember putting a lot of time into, like, Saga Frontier 2, and I was just like, fucking oof. Hmm. Or Unlimited Saga, which Devin and I tried to play so many times back in the day, and we uh, renamed it to Unlimited Suck. Don't name But I'd like to go back and give a lot of those games a second world as an older individual that has a better understanding of what I like and dislike and why, more more specifically, why I like and dislike what I like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're here at the Ivy Room. And we want to make our way up to the upper west corner. 
You tried playing Romancing Saga 2 recently and had absolutely no clue what you were doing? Yeah, I haven't... I think I've only slightly dabbled in the Romancings. Um, I have way more experience with, I guess, uh, like Saga Frontier and Saga Frontier 2. Aha! Uh -huh. So if we get here, we are we are done. So flip the switch. Yeah, flip the switch. We out. Okay. Exit through the lower right again. Or not again, but this time. And that should be it. Fossil Rue, Dunzo. Ah, of course. Of course. One last again. Is this one A-bomb? No, two A-bombs. <laughs> Are you calling them A-bombs? Wow, that's rude. That's bomb. They're abomination. Short. A-bomb. Are they actually abominations? Yeah, they're called A-bombs. Abominations. Oh wow. What's wrong with my <laughs> see? Ah, gotcha. A bomb. Rare. That being said, I don't think I'm gonna be playing any weird games anytime soon. I've got so much stuff on my backlog of like good games that I want to play that I haven't played in a long time. Um but there's, they're competing with so much other stuff that is coming out or has come out. Oh, right, like God. Tales of Arise come, came out and that's going to take up a long time or has taken up a long time. Pathfinder is going to take eternity, right? So, oh yeah. That's Elden that. Ring, I'm, I'm planning to put a lot of time into, uh, uh, presumably, I don't know. The Elden Ring... You know, I'm not really, like, the fact that uh, George R. R. Martin, like, I don't give a shit, had a hand in it seems to be a big draw to some people. I don't give a fuck. I didn't fucking read or watch the show. Hell, I heard the show suck at the end. People hate the dragon show. And so tri Project Triangle, Triangle Strategy is another one. So. That one. <laughs> Yes, I'm actually out? really looking forward to that. So uh, there's a lot of oh, stuff. Oh no, a week? Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff that's coming out that I'm just like, I'm really Why, interested in the stuff. This I really every want to play year. These. We're gonna have a dry spell in the summer, and then fucking everything will come out in the fourth quarter again. Well, here's Space the thing, though. You just, devs. you just keep playing. You just play the things that you missed already, you know? So. That is a big ass fucking dragonfly fossil. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh. That's pretty neat. Fuck, man. That's why I keep a backlog in my Google Docs. Hey, we made it! Outer Continent, woo! We made it to the Outer Continent! Okay. I'm hoping that I will be I will have at least gotten my initial uh, Monster Hunter fix in by the time Elden Ring comes out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. I wonder, like, what is the next... Oh, hey, the next, uh... The next uh, blue spell is Goblin Punch. Oh, oh yeah, that's here. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, uh, Cactuar, Thousand like, Needles. 
that's actually pretty useful. Well, I don't know. That's a goblin punch should be. Do not attack. Yeah. Oh wait, uh, what? It's, it's ragtime. It's ragtime mouse. So he's gonna ask us a question, Answer. and we have to question number one. I want to be your canary was written by. I'm just gonna open up the ragtime mouse stuff. Okay. Anyways, so in uh, Final Fantasy V, the way Goblin Punch worked is that if your level and the level of the creature you're casting it on True or false. were the same, it would do a ton of damage. And it, it didn't even cost uh, MP. It was zero MP. Did a lot of damage if your uh, uh, level were equal. And uh, what it, it bypassed evasion. Yay! Like, it always hit. But knowing Final Fantasy IX, it's prob they probably ruined it here, too. Uh, it does a thousand damage. No, that's a thousand needles. Oh, you're talking about Goblin Punch. Sorry. I'm talking bad. about Goblin Punch. I don't know what it There's does There's a here. glitch uh, you could take advantage of where... What, what was it? Using Goblin Punch and the, like, the damage of a Scalapur? Like, you, you actually... Oh, that's what it was. If you equip Excalipur and use Goblin Punch, it would... So Excalibur is not supposed to do shit damage, but it has a very high damage stat. Goblin Punch ignores the the hidden stat that reduces it low, so it still hits really hard. All right. So what what was Goblin Punch supposed to do? Goblin Punch costs zero MP. Okay. And if Cost your four level, this. And if fuck, I'm, if I'm, your I'm, level, I'm... if your level and the enemy level you hit it with are the same, it does a bunch of damage. Okay. It also bypasses evasion. I don't know about bypassing evasion, but yes, it functions supposedly the same way. If Queena's level is the same level as the target's, the damage is increased. Should they gave it an MP cost, though. Yeah, well. You win some, you lose some. Alright, where the fuck are we going? Hold on, I'm looking this up. Northeastern Park Punch. Goblin Punch. Final Fantasy Run. Scroll ah, down. There it is. The damage dealt increases the closer the caster level is to the draw. Oh, so actually that's kind of a little better. Oh, speaking of goblins. Hey. Goblin Punch, I, I'm i sure we outlaw these guys that aren't going to do anything. Yeah. I mean, that's not nothing, but... I want to hit that guy. Yeah. Alright, I'm just going to auto-attack him, see what we do. Nothing. Okay, I'm going to... Hero him. Let's see what I do. Nah, I'm, I'm assuming match or magic is just gonna work on me. Decent damage. Nah, not gonna nope. be enough. It'd be nice if I could have saved my trance for this. It would be. But you can't. Alright, the second attack from Zidane will kill, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, that was super weak. What? Um, you might want to frog drop the first one. Alright, that's a fixed, fixed amount. That might actually do it. Um, I feel like anything that I do might go over that point, so... Ooh! 
He is definitely ready. Definitely ready. I'm curious. About what? They, they, they've got a, a formula for Goblin Punch here. Okay. Nice. Uh, the damage increases closer to the caster's level is to the target. Also effective. It is also affected by the caster's strength and the target's defense, as well as the status as, as any status effects. IDK. So it's 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 just like Goblin Punch if it was just less effective. It accounts for defense and status effect. So if it's like, if it's got high defense and has like, uh, protect on or something, then I'm assuming it does lefts. Fair enough. No, not fair enough. They made it worse than Final Fantasy V. Well, again, it's it's well, it's, it's, it's worse. Sometimes it has an MP cost. And it's worse. Sometimes it do be that way, my man. But it's that way with everything! Hey, Jay. Everything in Final Fantasy IX is worse! Guess what? No! It's time! You can't! Just oh, cheat cool. engine the number of frogs to, like, 98. And then get one more. to make sure if there's any flags that catches it. Uh, if we do that, are you going to goblin punch or this in, or in I know I, my level is drastically different than his, though. I want to see if it does nothing. That should, should still do some damage. Not going to be much, though. Good. It would have been funny if it was just like 5,000 damage. <laughs> Bro was level 21, what? Right? Alright. Oh. Fucking encounter rates, my man. That was another thing about Lost Odyssey. The encounter rate throughout the entire game always felt really low. Like, too low. Whenever I wanted to grind out a skill, it felt like it took forever. Because I'm like, where is the random encounter? God! What uh -oh. is this? Kappa? This is supposed to be a... A Sahuagin. A Sahuagin. Oh, those were in the... Yeah, other Final Fantasies. Yeah. Reminds me of the ones in uh, Remake of 7. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. That's a great example. Get, a, get another fucking example of a thing in, in 7 where they just padded that shit out. Yeah. I enjoyed the remake. It was a, it was a fun play, but it absolutely was a... Could have been more than it than it was. I'll just leave it at that. Mm. Aha! I was like, where the fuck is this Retro. opening? Look at all the frogs! I'm so happy. Are you? Look, they're gonna Can't make your frog tell? drop do more damage. Great. Huh. Huh. Fuck. Huh. Huh. Fuck. Huh. Got one. Yeah. Hell yeah. We are a fifth of the way there. 
One fifth of the frogs that we need to collect have been collected. Oh, I catch you, motherfucker! Oh, how did I not get that one? I look what? Bullshit! I don't. I don't know why Queen is so against getting in the water to get a frog. Is Queen also water soluble? Got it. Okay, we actually do want. Let it go. Keep eyes on that one, Jay. That's our male. Okay, I got my eyes on it. I'm about to leave the screen. Okay. All right, it's I've fucked up. Okay, nope. I'm gonna make an assumption. Keep it. Uh, I think it's. There we go. I think you get that one. Yeah, that one right there. You can grab yeah. that. The red. The other two will need to leave. Itch. There you go. Yeah. Yo. Oh wow, that was exactly what we needed for the next threshold. Nice. And that is actually really good. That is really good. That's a... That's going to be a... I think a pretty big upgrade for Queena. Hmm. Awesome. Watch it be not an upgrade at all. I'm done catching. And that's probably just going to continue to teach High Tide. Oh, it absolutely will just continue to teach High Tide. We know that. Mithril Fork. All right, what's your guess? I'm going to guess 53. 43 to 53? Yeah. I'm going to guess 50 even. All right. Bullshit. Well, that was a guess. I honest to God, that's a guess. Bullshit. Bullshit <laughs> Well, it's just like, look, it's, you know, it's been doing increments of... Well, it's not always increments. So this one was a uh, 11, but this one was um, 13 more from the previous. 11, 13. And so this one was been 15. only eight. So I don't know. It was just a guess. Anyways, that's I, I think we know the highest attack ratio we have or hack attack damage we have right now by a lot. Yeah. Yeah, but you gotta remember you have that uh Queen has that damage range, so sure, maybe the highest attack damage, but you're gonna see some uh some shitty hits every now and then. Well, every now and then, yeah, but still still I bet we'll be pushing that like close to a thousand kinda like gap. Yeah. yeah. So, that should be good. <laughs> Funny thing is, we actually could have had that a while ago if we just committed to emptying the pond. Yeah. Which or been more consistent about going back yeah. and getting new frogs. Ah, two of them. Was it a silver fork or a golden fork? Yep, there's the dragoon jump they have. Shell defense. Ah, shit. Hey, y'all. Yep, there's a thousand. Uh oh, is he gonna counter? No. Doesn't seem like it. Just takes less damage. Yeah. Doesn't real seem like a very. Yeah, I don't see the point in that. <laughs> like you, you're just. You're damage. still just getting your ass kicked, my man. Like, I mean, it, like, if you're gonna be a tank, you gotta be tanking for somebody. Yeah. This, this. Mug your clear headed. Right 
spearheaded on the, was the tiara. On the as tiara, yeah. And I believe... Bandana. I think he can do the... Might as well leave the Lamia's tiara on then. I say that. We'll put it on. Dagre. Yeah. Makes you magic a little bit better, I think. Go learn level up. Alright. What's up for Goblin Punch? Uh, it's a thousand needles. So I'm assuming we're running into a Cactar before too long. And there's desert out here, so... Seems plausible. Alright, I'm looking for some... Chocobo tracks. Level 5 death. In the uh, life of tree. I'm fucking blind. Is there a Chocobo tracks north of Q's March? Marsh. Uh... Uh... Hector? Nope. That is a griffin. It's a griffon! Damn. A pretty hefty stab, my man. That's a hefty, that's a hefty stab. Uh, I need to heal. Pretty bad. I'll do it after the fight. I swear, if if in Final Fantasy IX, a thousand needles is is it just does a thousand damage, and there's some stupid bullshit behind it, I'm gonna be upset. I think it just does a thousand damage. I'm gonna look. Cause I don't trust this game. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's just the thousand needles. gonna get around the time I'm just gonna start normally swinging for a thousand yeah unfortunate the game the game or the guide I will say does say um, it's it's good for under leveled queenas so if for instance we hadn't picked a queen up when we first yeah. had the opportunity you know because I mean just... in, in theory we only have to have had queen up for this last dungeon that's true. Yep. And if that was the case, then, you know, a cool thousand damage would be pretty useful. Yeah. But and it still is. Like, that's still more than Zidane's normal. Yeah. And it is guaranteed, you know, so. Yeah, I don't have to worry about the damage range of the fort. Herodo. I have potion too, that's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty happy about that. Mm. So All Chocobo right. tracks near the marsh? It said north of the marsh. And I'm not seeing shit, so I guess I'm just gonna be fucking running around in places. 
goblins. What's up, Bodie Bodie? Oh, it's your pet pets. Well, that's no bueno. Oh, okay, that's bueno. Oh no. 300. That's like mage melee damage. Nah. So like double what BB does. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Vanish. Oh, he gone. Fuck. Yup. You have no MP. <laughs> This is, uh, unfortunate. Yeah, your level's far too low, buddy. It's annoying. Big stab. Big stab. No. Not quite a big stab. Wish I could thousand needle him. No. You know what level those guys are? I don't know. Goblin punch him. Uh, Kill him with his own move. Well, it's only gonna, it's not gonna do a whole lot. Well, if it's gonna be like Final Fantasy V, it should still hit. Because it should ignore, like, well, I guess it's maybe not ignore evasion. I'm hoping it just counts as, like, a spell, because spells go through vanish. Yep. Hey! Correct. Nice. Okay. Much less damage than what I was swinging for, unfortunately. Well, sometimes Body it could be that way. Body temp. I'm still learning... Level up. Off of it. Yeah, level up. I haven't finished it. Follow the coastline. I thought I saw. It's hard to tell because there's like sediments, cracks, cracks. things. Yeah. See, it looks like that might be. I, I can't tell if it's sediments or vitamins. No, that's it. This is yeah, not north of the freaking marsh. The okay, I guess it is kind of north. Like, northeast. North of the marsh is, like, right over there. Alright, I'm being pedantic. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Quay. Alright. That river Jokobo. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. We need... I think it's funny how our... our uh, Chocobo changed ancestry just from... You know... I, I, I don't... I can't quite remember how he did it. It was kind of a fever dream. A fever dream? Abandoned beach. Okay. Abaddoned beach. Sediments. Like here? First try. Nine Phoenix Pinions. Oh, right. Five Phoenix Downs. Alright, alright. Well, Peridot. I don't even know what a Peridot does. And Diamond Gloves. I think the diamond gloves are actually really good. I can't imagine what they do. Uh, they nullify water damage. Okay. They're for Steiner and Freya. 
They are good defensive items, and they have uh, ability up and jelly on them. So ability if we up. don't have ability up on Steiner or Freya, which I don't think we have ability up on either one of them yet. I think we have um, it on Steiner. I know oh. we don't have it on Freya, though. All right. Well, that was the thing that we needed to do. So, what's this? I don't know, but we don't need to go there yet. So, we're not gonna. Just fucking walking around in the water with this son of a bitch. Here are you. Can go anywhere, but still neat. Right, so we want to go up here. <laughs> Immediately into a fight, dear lord. I mean, what else were you expecting? That's fair, I suppose. And it's still not a cactar. Stay up. Sand Scorpion. Sand Scorpion. Back to the next fight. Just trying to get a, up its grass. Uh, I don't know if that matters. I'm assuming it does. I don't know. Maybe. That way it's only desert stuff for me to run around in. Yep, 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 yep. Brah. Here it out. My goodness. I'm going to have to throw a save state up. We can get one because good Lord. Don't you vanish. Uh. Jeremy, he vanished. I see that. Well, you're the next one who's going to have an opportunity to do something about it. That's not gonna kill though at all. Oh, he came back. Hey, killed. Nice. I'm gonna Hold up a second. Uh, oh, this is that boss thing. Zagnol. Yeah. Wow. How'd you miss that? I don't fucking know. I call bullshit. Bum, bum, 
bum, bum, bum. Nice. I'm gonna check this cat core thing because. Continent. We've just been unlucky. Yeah, I know. I feel like we're in the right place. It's just, uh, wow. Yeah. He uh, looks silly when he casts on turbo. He does. All right, um, that is going to be the end of this video. If you're watching on Twitch, stick around. We're going to keep playing. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps me out. If you'd like to see me live, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash thedistanthorizon.